Ladies and gentlemen, what you are witnessing right now is the recreation of a character originally created by a contestant of a recent original character contest that I personally hosted on my DeviantArt page from early January to the end of May of 2017. She placed in the contest. So for her prize, I have decided to take it upon myself to show her a videographed reenactment of me drawing her character, Helfer. If I recall correctly, I believe that is his name. But he looks like a heifer. And he is essentially a cartoonish character set in a fictitious world that this contestant who placed in my original character open made. Her character design for that character was so good and so spectacular that she decided to give me the honor of trying to recreate that character in her art style. So that's exactly what I did. Folks, I'm not lying to you when I say personally that I'm getting better and better and better at this thing called digital art. Also notice how I made several errors as a result of my incomplete line art for said character. Of course, this caused the entire screen to turn into a certain color, except for the parts that were lined, that were outlined specifically. I later corrected this. So, Rikaku19, if you're on YouTube and you're watching this video right now on my YouTube channel, guess what? 
you're in for an amazing treat. Because let me tell you, buddy, you earned this. You really did. You earned this. Absolutely you did. So I figured that by posting this video of a sped up version of me drawing your character and your style, I figured it would do your character and your art style a lot of justice. So this is what I've decided to do. You're welcome. You can also, folks, find my artwork specifically on theskull31.deviantart.com slash gallery. This is where you will find all of my stuff. I'm telling you people, I'm a master at work when I want to be. And if I were making this up, I wouldn't be videographing this right now. And there you have it, folks. This is my finished product. A prize for my friend on DeviantArt, Rikafu19, for her placing in my original character open, which ended just a couple months ago at the end of May of 26 of 2017 you thought I was going to say 2017 didn't you but anyway that's it for now Rikafu19 I seriously hope that you like this if you don't like this I'll understand if you do like this I'm alright with it too feel free to leave me some feedback with your thoughts thank you Have a nice day. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are witnessing right here
It's a recreation of another one of my friend Rikafu 19's characters. This one in particular is a troll named Matthew. Now, if I'm not mistaken, he has goat horns. And he also has a full-on beard and long hair. And he resembles the qualities of, say, a goat, especially at the bottom half of his body. Come to find out, though, you know, I think this turned out really, really, really well, considering how long it took me to do this. Of course, I started working at it at around maybe, maybe 5.30ish, maybe 5 o'clock. I didn't finish it until around 8, if I recall correctly. Actually, I take that back. I recall finishing it at 8.30. So this took me about three hours, essentially, if you get what I mean. I mean, you get it, don't you? Also, notice the address of this particular picture, you know? Yeah, it's, it's kind of explanatory in itself. Also notice how I made enough room to where I could fit the entire character in there. Notice the adjustments in size and stuff, and the way I positioned it. Yeah. But like I said, you know, I'm getting better and better at this with each passing day. Every day I'm getting better at it. And I don't even use Photoshop. I don't even use GIMP. I heard that GIMP was free, but I'm not sure about whether to believe it or not. But of course that's up to me to decide. It's not up to anyone else. Of course, I have to decide whether to take their word for it or not. But, like I said, I do things like this on DeviantArt Muro because I can and I will. It is that simple, folks. That simple. There's just no other way to describe it. No other way to say it.
future legend in the making, folks. Yeah. Did I mention that the word folks sounds very, very similar to the F word? Although it doesn't have the UC, it has OL instead of UC. You know? But anyway, it is what it is. Regardless, you can't change fate because fate is in, it's interchangeable. It's bound to change at any moment because it can change itself in no time. Also notice what I did with the skyline. I made it pop with a skyline, didn't I? Oh, by the way, copy and pasted the entire image in a second later, and I edited the second layer in a way to make it look shaded. I'm not going to tell you how, but I'll give you a hint. It has something to do with the adjustments column. when it comes to DeviantArt Mural. So I'll let you figure that out for yourself, huh? I mean, how about it, huh? Think about it. And this, of course, is the final product. You see that? Real artistic genius. Genius. Look at that. That's an autistic artist at work, right there. Of course, I'm talking about myself, so don't get it twisted. Also, look at, look at how I shaded this, especially on the second layer. Does that not look cool or what? But anyway, that's going to do it for me here, so... Till we meet again. Later.
I just want to go off the record and say here straight up, this took me the better half of around two hours to make. This is a digital commission for my friend Rikapu19, who placed in one of my more recent contests earlier this year. She told me to draw this particular character from, I believe, the Crudes, if I remember correctly. That's Crudes with two O's, not one U. Although it could be um, mistaken as such. I mean, people mistaken everything as some sort of a weakness for whatever reason because they think they're above God, but they're not. But that's beside the point. The point I'm trying to make at the end of the day is simple. When I'm willing to make something great, I can actually do quite well with it. And that's just saying, that's not really saying too much on my end, but I can say right now, this is literally it in a nutshell. This is me at my best. This is who I am. I proudly admit that I'm a human being. Oh, and here's the fast motion replay on this if you want to check it out. It's yours, my friend, but only if you have enough rupees. Mm. Faces of evil reference. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Took me about two hours to make, maybe a little less. Probably a little less. Somewhere in the vein of maybe an hour and three quarters. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. So long for now. Bye bye.
This is the last one I'm doing of my friend Recall from 19. This, of course, is her OC Scrawl, if I remember correctly. I mean, not the best name in the world, but it works for her, so it works for me too, right? I mean, you gotta give her credit for the name. It stands out, it's original. And I personally like the name. Me personally. I like the character design too. Really good stuff. Hello. No. No. You got this? Just some of that regular old life at the semi-independent living quarters. Yep, that's life for you. Oh, come on now, yo, you ain't seen nothing yet. That's that's my best um Al Jolson impersonation. Not that it matters, but. It totally doesn't matter. I could care less if it did. And I couldn't care less if it didn't. But you know, everything happens for a reason. Take a good look at this. Yeah, you see that? That is genius. But here's where things start to get better. This is where things start to get better. You know where things start to get better? Right around here? I mean, not that it matters, but who cares, right? Really, who cares? And now here's the special Muro redraw. And in my style, of course. Which absolutely makes perfect sense. Because it does it a heck of a lot better on the Muro app on my stash than it ever could on the actual deviation page, which is actually quite ironic now that I think about it. Very, very ironic, as a matter of fact. And it baffles me. It really does. It baffles me. I don't know why, but it baffles me. Also notice the outlining in the sky. You see that? Look at that. Beautiful sky, can't go wrong. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Bonafide genius. And now let's take a good look at it in slower motion, mind you. <laughs> good to do. Take a look. Yeah, just take a look. This was before I painted the sky. Before I painted the last mountain. Or in this case, I'd call it a valley. Yeah, you see that? Of course, I only started showcasing my art skills about maybe a month or two ago. I've proven pretty successful for the most part this far. And, needless to say, I don't regret it. I do not regret it. Not one bit. Not a bit. And that was before the shading. Take a look at what the shading looks like now. Seriously though, take a look. Take a good look. You see that? Genius. 
well not really, it's just me drawing digitally with a mouse built into, literally into my laptop. It's a square cursor pad thing. It acts as a mouse, a built-in literal mouse. Except it doesn't look like a mouse, it looks like a rectangle. With two other rectangles at the bottom. Kinda makes you wonder, doesn't it? Like looking at the hourglass. Half. Not half empty, not half full, but half. I mean, seriously. It is what it is. And now let's take a look at this in a slower motion. Check this. Check this. See that? I mean, really, I could go on with this. But, you know, I mean, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It just makes sense. So at the end of the day, everybody wins, nobody loses, we all go home happy. Right? You need to decide, isn't it? And it figures very much. And that's going to do it. So. For Skull Media Films, I am Kevin the Skull Anderson, and I will see you on the next go-around. Bye-bye.